Now let's talk about what we would do. We're multiplying numbers that are taken to a power when the power happens to be negative. In a problem like this, we just have one negative exponent. But as we talked about in the last video, when we're multiplying numbers or exponents, they have the same base. Here we have a 2 and here we have a 2. They each have the same base. Then we can use our little trick of taking that base in our answer and just adding up the exponents to find out how many 2s we're going to end up multiplying. In this case, when we're adding, we're just going to be adding with a negative number. So that would be the same thing as 3 plus a negative 2, which equals 2 to the first power, which we know will just equals 2. Now, if we write this entire problem out, uh, what I call solving it the long way, then what we would have here is 2 to the third power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, and then times 2 to the negative second power, which is equal to 1 over 2 times 2, if we combine that by multiplying these fractions, we'll end up with that. 2 times 2 times 2 over 2 times 2. And now we can start eliminating and crossing out same numbers in the denominator and numerator because we know that 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 1, and another 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 1, and now we're left with 1, 2 left over, which is the same thing as 2. And you can see we did get the same answer when we solved it that way.